these friends. God's so good to me. Look at that. There's a man standing there. John, what? Oh, by the way, John, before I forget it, <laughs> before I forget, when you tell, see your mother, tell her I said hello. <laughs> when we went back on the honor flight, John's mother lives in Baltimore. She grabbed a hold of me and she took care of me all through that trip. I mean, she just... <laughs> Perfect soundbite for the news. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. To hear. Talk to us about honor flight a little bit. How was that experience and how was it to be with other veterans and go down to see our country's monuments and to see, you know, where we all started as a country? Well, I, I was more, I think I was more fortunate than a lot of the guys that do that there. Um, there's passages ways on through the Capitol, on, all, all on Capitol Hill. It's honeycomb with passageways, railroad trains, uh, uh, and everything. I've been all through there. Um, when I uh, first went to Washington, uh, I lived with my grandmother's sister, and uh, her husband was a plumber. And he done all the plumbing. He worked uh, all the plumbing work through uh, Arlington Cemetery. <laughs> you have no idea what's underground in, in uh, Arlington Cemetery. You can't see that. But there's, there's a lot underground there. Been there. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to see. I mean, when you're walking through that, when you're walking through DC, it's gorgeous to be able to see these areas. Yeah, to really. see where, you know, so many of our generations have walked through it. Yeah, now, Charlie, go for it. Yes. This generation has no idea what's there. They have no chance of seeing it. No chance of meeting John's mother. <laughs> Certainly. Oh, man. Oh, they need to be their new dad. John has some images here that would like to.